What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing Skeledurge. And this is a Chwarzard team, so you know it's gonna be fire. Skeledurge is the first starter I had uh, when I first played through this game, and I fell in love with him. I love Fue Coco, I love Fue Coco and Roy in the anime. Skeledurge is so cool. Fire Ghost, for me, is like the best typing in the world. You know I love Chandelure. So Skeledurge is just awesome. But what can Skeledurge really do in a Regulation G meta? Well, I'll tell you. It pairs with this Terrapagos team, this very aggressive Terrapagos team. It's Choice Specs Terrapagos with Star Storm, Earth Power, Hyper Beam, Ice Beam. We got Tailwind support from this Whimsicott and Helping Hand. You don't usually see that on Whimsicott. That's something Tornadus cannot do. Uh, as well as Choice Scarf Urshifu, Grassy Seed Rillaboom, and Thunder Clapping Assault Vest Raging Bolt. Lots of priority to pick things off from low health after Terrapagos brings them down. But back to Skeledurge. Skeledurge can handle a few big threats in the meta that Terrapagos doesn't. For example, Zamazenta. The body press can't do anything to Skeledurge, and even if it could, we'd be unaware of any of their defense boosts, and we can just burn them or roar them out to get rid of those defense boosts. Also is a problem for Terrapagos, Calyrex Ice. Calyrex Ice definitely doesn't want to see a Skeledurge because any of its uh, chilling nay boosts don't matter due to unaware. We can burn it with Will-O-Wisp. We've got safety goggles to ignore its partner Rage Powder if it ends up being paired with Amoongus as they often are. And, well, they could just Terra Fire, right? That's where the Terrapagos comes in. Choice Specs Terra Star Storm is going to force them to pick either Terra Fire to not get burned or Terra Fire and get blowed up by Terrapagos. So it's a great combo. It works in the meta. Hopefully I fight some Kali Ices or maybe some Zamazentas so we can actually actually see how this works. But I'm gonna bring it to every fight anyway because like it's Skeletor, it's awesome. All right, so if you're ready, I'm ready. Terrapagos is ready. Let's get into it. Okay, Ed Tornadus, Rillaboom, Chiyu, Urshifu, Fluttermane, Tornadus. Um, I guess that would be a Power Herb Meteor Beam Eternatus, if I had to guess. It's a very aggressive offensive team. They've got like Chiyu, Fluttermane and stuff. Um, their fighting move, they do have a fighting move with Urshifu. Most likely the Water Urshifu, I guess it could be the Dark One, but they got like Grass Fire Urshifu right there. So I'm thinking it's the Water One, but we got a couple things that can handle that in Rillaboom and Raging Bolt. Skeledurge, I'm gonna be honest, not great without Terra here. And the Terra Water, not great either. But maybe it can close up the game. And it'll definitely help if we, for some reason, run into that uh, Eternatus is like a Cosmic Power set. So I wanna go Terrapagos, I wanna match their Tailwind with Whimsicott. I want to bring Skeledurge. Do I want to match their Tailwind? Maybe I don't. Maybe I want to lead with Rillaboom, get a fake out turn off, have Bolt and Skeledurge. Yeah, because if the worst thing for me is Urshifu, they're going to have to bring Urshifu. So if I bring all of my Urshifu answers, I should be fine. And I also figure they're going to set up their own Tailwind and be faster. Ooh, no trainer card. Your name's Red, come on, get a trainer card. But I figured they'll set up Tailwind, they have a faster team in general. Yeah, Tornadus Chiyu. That Chiyu is gonna be faster than my Terrapagos anyway. So what's the point in me even, you know, doing that? If I match Tailwind, they would just end up being faster anyway. So instead, I'm gonna not match Tailwind. Uh Chiyu is often Terra Ghost, but if it is, it gets bopped by Terrapagos. Uh, I will lose my Terrain when I pop the Terra. But I don't think I need to pop the Terra right away. I think I can Terra Star Storm the Chiyu. And Fake Out the Chiyu. Yep, they let me get the Fake Out off. They taunt my Terrapagos. That's cool respects. We are specs. Chiyu flinches, yeah. They could have entirely walled this 
play by going for a ghost, but they didn't because they were scared. And that's fair. Cool. In a, in a best of three, they would not make that mistake again. And in an open team sheet, they would have never tried to taunt. Alright, here's Ed's Furnace. Which is pressure. Okay. Uh, Bleak Wind Storm is likely. But that would probably go after Eternatus anyway. So it's not going to hurt Terrapagos too much. I think I can keep the shell. And throw out a big hit. The question is what I want Rillaboom to do. Could be victim to a Sludge Bomb. Could be victim to a Bleak Wind Storm. I think I'm cool with hitting Eternatus keeping my shell intact, and going into Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt will definitely take a Bleak Wing. Like, like it's nothing. Uh, if they double into that slot, I guess that'd be weird, right? Uh, here's your Meteor Beam. I guess you could be doubling that slot, because there's not really a point in breaking the shell if you're also gonna Bleak Wind. Oh, you are breaking the shell with that, okay. How much does this do through the shell? Decent damage, honestly. And there's Bleakman. Yeah, Terrapagos is not gonna last very long. But am I gonna do some good damage here? Very good damage. Love it. Alright, I like that little bit of healing. Um, they could go. Skeledurge actually will ignore the plus one they've got. Um, Tornadus can't touch Raging Bolt, so I think they might want to hit Raging Bolt. And we have Terra Fairy. That could definitely mess up their Eternatus. I think I'm gonna... I guess I could get Terrapagos out to Skeledurge pretty safely. I don't want to. I want to throw another Terra Star Storm. Here. And Terra Electroweb. Did I get that in time? No, I didn't. I Thunderclap Tornadus and it KO's! <laughs> no way! <laughs> wow! I timed out and you gave me that? I timed out and you just give me a great play? <laughs> and Raging Bolt eats anyway. I didn't need the Terra. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> wow! I did not think Thunderclap was gonna KO that Tornadus. Wow. I don't have a boosting item, I have a Salt Vest. As you can see for how well I took that. Oh my goodness, that's not what I wanted to do, but it works! <laughs> oh no, if that's Urshifu, yeah. You're stuck. Either you take a Terra Star Storm, or you take a Thunderclap. I guess you could Aqua Jet to get around the Thunderclap, but like, yeah, get out of here. Oh no, Skeletor didn't even show up. I'm sorry. I <laughs> Good game. Okay, Adam, with the Incineroar, Rillaboom, Urshifu, Calyrex, Ice, Pelipper, and Raging Bolt. Boring, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be something else. I don't, th I don't think I've seen these exact six. Have I? Anyway, it, it looks so boring. I probably have. Uh, they're gonna bring Pelipper for my Terrapagos. I'm gonna bring Skeledurge for their Kali Ice. It doesn't even look like a Trick Room team. That might not even be a Trick Room team. Huh. Uh, Urshifu seems pretty weak because they have so much Fake Out. Uh, do I have a Ghost Terra anywhere? They have so much Fake Out. Uh, I guess Whimsicott does, but how useful is Whimsicott gonna be here? Uh, helping Hand, Encore? It's not the worst. Uh, Terrapagos also isn't the worst. Terrapagos and Skeletor is pretty good. Uh, Urshifu is a problem, so we need Bolt and or Rillaboom. Probably Bolt. I don't see Rillaboom doing too much to anything else since we only have Grass moves. Uh, and then probably my own Urshifu? They have their Rillaboom and Bolts of their own, but they're definitely bringing Kali and they're definitely bringing Pelipper. So they can't afford to bring all of their anti-Urshifu. 
And Whimsicott, like, having Terra Ghost is nice, but I'm probably gonna just Terra the Terrapagos anyway. I wish I had a little more anti-fake out, but maybe it'll work out anyway. And they've got a bear at a stop sign. Cool. At the, uh, no, at the bus stop. Stop sign. Silly Jordy. That's first grade stuff. Okay, fake out plus incense. Haha! -ha! I can burn you! And if you want to bother faking out my Terrapagos, you're gonna have to sacrifice your ability to do anything else. Uh, so I'm gonna burn. And... Do I Terrastalize Terra Starstorm? Because Callie could Terra to get around it, but I don't know if I want to burn it right now. I want to save my shell, even though they're going to fake me out. So I think I can just throw a regular Terra Starstorm at Incineroar, because they could, like, protect and attack with Incin. And then I'll Willow Calyrex. Yeah, they're just protecting and attacking with Incin. Exactly what I thought, but still covering my bases. It's not like Skeledurge was going to do anything to their Incin anyway. Good damage. Okay, you block the Willow, but then what do you do? There's no way you're going to Oko my... Uh, okay, you're going for the knockoff. But yeah, there's no way you Oko a Skeledurge. And we already saw that I'm faster than your Incin. So now I can Terra, Terra Starstorm. Incin's in range. And... Your Calyrex either has to eat a burn or eat a super effective Terra Star Storm. If you're even Terra Fire. And you have plenty of things you could swap into, but they're gonna take a big hit. Like you've got some special attackers in the back, I'm sure. I'm sure you brought Pelipper, I'm sure you brought Raging Bolt. And they're gonna take they're not gonna care about Will-O-Wisp, but they're gonna tear care about Star Storm. Oh, Rillaboom's gonna care about Bolt! Oh no. I don't get why that was your switch. Okay, you're sacking Incin. But I'm getting rid of your grass, which is funny. Yeah, you're gonna sacrifice Incin to get another fake out turn. But then what? Do you just take the burn? That doesn't seem right. Is your Rillaboom faster than this and can like high horsepower? That won't KO if I get the burn. Oh no! Oh, yeah, no. I wasn't good at normal Terra Star Storm again. Sorry. I see what their play is now. They thought I was going to do that again. Mm -mm. No, no. Terra Ghost on Instant is way too common. I'm not going to throw a normal move at it twice. You're getting hit by a stellar move. Which means you can't terrestrialize anything else, which Trappa Ghost is kind of sad about, actually. Uh, give me the burn on Rillaboom, please, because that's definitely a Salt Vest. I did not do very much damage. Um, is that gonna hit? Yes, thank you. Woo! This game is so slow, sometimes it pauses and makes me think I missed. Plus it's an 85 accuracy move, I thought I was gonna miss. Alright, um... Let's see. Let's see who they go to. If you just go into Calyrex, I guess you have a fake out turn. Oh, it's Urshifu, yeah. You've got a fake out turn plus Urshifu. That's powerful. Bolt is free to come in very safely. Terrapagos is still good. So is Skeledurge. Urshifu's fine too. Like, I don't want to give up anything. It's got to be a close combat into Terrapagos, right? It's got to. That might not KO. I think I want to go for a Terra Star Storm, just to force them onto a play, and try to burn their Urshifu. You have to double into Terrapagos, right? No, you don't. You lock into Surging Strikes. Fine. That's fine. Oh, now I got a pin. Oh, that's perfectly fine. Because now I Star Storm and Thunderclap, and you have to either swap and take the hit, or go down to a Thunderclap. Oh, that's perfectly okay. 
You should have gone after Terrapagos when you had the chance. And like, sure, Rillaboom will probably eat this, but it's burned. Who cares? Um, do I Thunderclap knowing they're gonna swap? Yeah, whatever. Don't care. Maybe they're not even Scarf. We never saw exactly the speed interaction. They should be the fastest thing on the field even if they're not Scarf. And we get the Thunderclap. Bye, Urshifu. <laughs> yeah, they were probably Scarf. <laughs> oh, they weren't really willing to swap in their Bolt. Yeah, swap in their Calyrex into Bolt. And now that it's single target Star Storm, that should take Rillaboom. Yes. <laughs> and now we got single target moves going at this Calyrex. Who can't Terra anymore. Sad. Oh, and I have Urshifu in the back who can take an Ice move if I want to do that. But I don't. I think I'm happy to just throw Draco Star Storm. Um... Hyper, would swapping out to get Hyper Beam charged up be better? Maybe. Don't care. Terra Star Storm's gonna do plenty. And then... I don't want to miss Draco, but I don't think I need to hit Draco anyway. So I think I'm happy to Draco. I don't think I lose the game if I miss Draco Meteor. Because Star Storm will do a little under half. Yep. And Draco should be able to do all most of the rest. Okay. So another Star Storm could have done that anyway, and there's no way they're gonna take out my Terrapagos in one. So yeah, we're good. Urshifu could but it is gonna take a hit from that anyway. Terra Star Storm. Thunderclap to finish it off. Battle is cancelled. GG. Woo! That was a fun one. Good game, Adam. Thank you for having a trainer card. Okay, Billy. Oh, Maridon, Dondozo, Tatsugiri, Chiyu, Fire Ogre Pond, and Whimsicott. Dondozo, Giri with Maridon, Chiyu. No ground types, so I wouldn't expect Discharge. Uh, Terrapagos or Rillaboom can turn off their terrain. What do I have for... Dondozo? I guess... Rillaboom and Raging Bolt force it to Terra, and then Terrapagos eats it. Or I can just Terra Skeletor. Yeah, I've got a lot for Dondozo. I don't know if they bring Dondozo. I, th I expect the other four. In which case, they're gonna have Whimsicott, which means they're gonna have more speed control than I can ever hope for. Okay. Uh, I guess I could Whimsicott and Bolt. Slow them down with Electra Webs and get my own Tailwind up. Then bring in Terrapagos. And have Skeledurge just to save me against, like, Fire Ogre Pond and the potential for Dondozo. I think that kind of works. Wimbolt. Uh, I'll put Bolt on the left because he's so big. Terrapagos Skeledurge. Uh, Urshifu seems... It seems okay. Not great. Rillaboom. Not bringing Rillaboom's weird. I just feel like their whole team is stacked against Rillaboom because I only have grass moves. I can't do any damage with Rillaboom. Just because it turns off terrain isn't enough. And Terrapagos can turn off terrain once. Just once. That might be enough. This is a very offensive game. Oh, they got the ice cube on the beach. No, he's gonna melt! Which actually just makes him faster. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ogre Pond, what does it got? Alright, yeah, they got their own speed control. So yeah, um, we are indeed max speed, but if we don't Tailwind, they can Encore us into whatever we do, so we need to Tailwind. I will Electro Web, as I said I would, and Tailwind. If they are a Covert Cloak Wim, they're not going to take a speed drop, uh, but usually with Maridon it's Sash Wim. Okay, they're not setting Tailwind. Speed drop on Ogre Pond. Speed drop on Whimsicott. Yeah, it's probably Sash then. And then are they going to double my Whimsicott? That's what it looks like. Okay. If that's what you want to do, that's what, that's what you want to do.
As safe as Skeledurge is here, I need to hit the go button with Terrapagos. Yeah, I really need to hit the go button with Terrapagos here. I need to take as many KOs as I can right here, right now. Uh, because they could Tailwind back. But if they Tailwind back... I should still be faster than their Ogre Pond with my Bolt, right? Unless I'm kind of slow. Um, no. They could get a hit off with Ogre Pond. And they, that goes through the shell as well. Because of Mold Breaker. I think I didn't take enough speed control. Um, in which case I need to hit the go button. Starstorm. Terra. Do it. Do it. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Okay, turtle. What you get? Well, let's see how much damage you can do. You are choice specs, but you are timid. Uh, we have the speed control on them now. Depending on the speed on their ogre pond, even after Tailwind Bolt will go first. Uh, even after Tailwind, Terrapagos should go first, right? Yeah. Okay. So we might be fine. Uh, maybe I didn't need the Terra. I could have left like Winsicott alive. Yeah, because Ogre Pond doesn't go down to that. Ivy Cudgel does a decent chunk. Ooh, Electroweb doesn't pick up the Ogre Pond either. That might be annoying. Uh, if they go into Maridon here, they have to dri pick a target. Uh, but no, they go into Chiyu here. I think it's Starstorm and Thunderclap, unless they're Terra Ground. They could totally be Terra Ground. Uh, would they be Terra Ground? If they're Terra, they get blasted by Terrapago, so it's fine. Yeah. Thunderclap the Chiyu. It'll probably go before Terrapagos. I don't know if it KOs me from here. Unless it's like Specs Overheat. Uh, yeah, they just protect. Okay. I guess they want to get in their Maridon, or they want to take... I, I guess maybe they just wanted Ogre Pond gone. Which is fair. I think if I had KO'd both there... I mean, we would have been in about the same position, but with an extra turn of Tailwind, so... I don't think Tailwind matters anymore. If mine runs out, whatever. I doubt I was faster than their Chiyu. There's no way I'm faster than Maridon. It has to be in the back. Yeah. Now, you've just got to. You've just got to attack my Bolt, right? With Draco? So I can bring in Skeledurge pretty safely. Not not safely. What I mean is, oh, I don't know how I win this. This is a tough one. Uh, if I get an Electro Web off, yeah, I think I should go for Electro Web because then Terrapagos would be faster. And if I don't get that, that means you Draco, so you're pathetically weak. And so I bring in Skeledurge on that slot to come back in later. Skeledurge should be able to take a fire move from Chiyu if they're going for that. If it is like just Electro Drift into Terrapagos, I don't think Skeledurge takes that. And they're gonna Terra? If they're gonna Terra Maridon, they must be going after Terrapagos. Meaning I could probably get the Electro Web. Meaning you're gonna get Starstorm. Right? There's no way you Terra Draco. Yeah, it's Electro Drift. Oh, no, I think you played right. You're gonna t target down the featured Mon. I'm so sorry, Skeledurge. I tried to bring you out. But they made a weird play. I'm sorry. I thought you would live this turn. I did not think they would do that. Oh, they get the flinch, they win. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> no, I can win this now. We know Chiyu isn't Scarf. Terrapagos is now faster than Maridon. We've got... Are they Covert Cloak Chiyu? 
They didn't get a speed drop. That could be the one remaining problem. Yeah, they're Covert Cloak or Clear Amulet. It would be Covert Cloak, though, for sure. Oh, and they have one last turn of Tailwind. Oh, that's bad. Um, is this winnable then? No. Because they Electro Drift Terrapagos. If they're locked into that and I can KO Chi Yu with Thunderclap, though, then I can win because Maridon can't KO me. So I'm going to go for the Thunderclap Starstorm. I don't take the Chi Yu, no! Yeah, and there's the Electro Drift. Ah! Oh, it had to be Covert Cloak. There had to be one more turn of Tailwind. It had to be... It just had to be that way, huh? Okay. Alright, now your Tailwind is gone. There's no way this Bolt is faster than your Maridon. You should just attack with Bolt. But you're afraid of the thunderclap, so you protect Chi Yu. And that's my win con. You protect Chi Yu and let me get a Draco, which probably wouldn't KO anyway. Not with Beads of Ruin, maybe it does. But no, you just attack. And both attacks combined is Ah, oh, man, I guess I could have should have thunderclap Chi Yu, got rid of the Beads. I don't think that would have been enough. GG. Man. I just didn't have the juice. Good, good job uh, preserving Tailwind there, because like they doubled into my Whimsicott so I couldn't Encore them. That kind of won them the game. GG. Okay, we've got a match here. A Fluttermane, Blood Moon, Kali Ice, Rillaboom, Gastrodon, and Incineroar match. Skeledurge is great. Skeledurge is so good. For the most part. Oh, uh, we've got... Oh, there's no Amoongus there. That's, I feel like there should be an Amoongus there. Oh, okay, there's no Amoongus. Raging Bolt might be okay. Terrapagos has to come. Uh, how can I threaten? I can threaten with Terrapagos Skeledurge right away. Skeledurge can't be faked out. I can threaten the Will-O-Wisp, and if you want a Terra, you get Star Stormed. Urshifu's useless because they have Gastrodon. Kinda need Rillaboom because of their Gastrodon, but also Urshifu seemed pretty good against some of that team. Uh, I guess I want Bolt. Maybe I save Terra for Bolt? Or Rillaboom? Do I want two Ice Weaknesses? That's what I'm questioning. I'm wondering if I should just bring Urshifu and just understand that it's a close combat mod. And only bring one of my Ice Weaknesses. I kind of like Rillaboom. Two ground types and an ice type and a Fluttermane. Yeah, it's not Bolt. I guess it's Rillaboom. Uh, I'll have to take care of that Incineroar. Incineroar plus Gastrodon causes me some problems. Incineroar can beat the Rillaboom and Urshifu can beat the Incineroar, but Urshifu can't beat the Incineroar when there's a Gastrodon. And they don't have a trainer card. Oh, so I'm gonna lose, of course. All right. It'll be fine. I, I've got a lot of strong pieces against them. It just de depends on what comes. And they lead Rillaboom and Fluttermane. What? Rillaboom and Fluttermane? Okay. Weird. Uh... You gotta be threatened by Skeledurge. Do you want to just fake out Terrapagos? I don't think you do. I don't know if I want a Terra right now, either. I kinda wish I didn't lead Terrapagos here. Um, I guess I will Terra Star and Terra Star Storm. It's my best way to start doing damage here. And then Skeledurge could get out, or... I could throw a Torch Song into Rillaboom, yeah. That'll punish you if you do try to just fake out Terrapagos. Because if you fake out Terrapagos, you better worry about my Skeledurge.
Bum, 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 bum. Okay, get rid of the grass. I'll put it back later myself. No, I don't worry about it. Uh, Moonblast into Terrapagos. And then my Star Storm. You didn't Terra the Rillaboom. The Rillaboom is either you turn it out or it's going down, right? Ooh, good damage. Okay, they double into Terrapagos as hard as they can and remove it. Ow! I'm not a fan of that. But getting rid of Rillaboom turn one is really nice, actually. Oh, I was kind of hoping it would just go down to recoil and I could torch on the other thing. This is fine. This will work. Get a special attack boost. Things they could have. They could have Gastrodon. So I need to go to Rillaboom. If I go into Urshifu and they have Gastrodon, I'm in trouble. But if I go into Rillaboom, I'm fine. There's Calyrex. Here's Rillaboom. Alright, we can't have berries, but I'm not hungry for one. A Skeleton doesn't even have a berry. Uh, so I'm gonna Grassy Glide the Flutter. Who might be Specs. I guess they could swap in Ensign. You might want to bring Gastrodon to this fight, though. Or at least one of your grass types. Your uh, ground types, I mean. Uh, so I could glide. I could also fake out Calyrex here, but I don't want to do that. I want to Grassy Glide Flutter. And I think I want to throw a burn onto Cali. Oh, I also want a Terra. Oh no, I already did Terra, that's right. Uh, Grassy Glide, Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, obviously a Terra is coming out. If it's Terra Fire, um, I have Urshifu. Yeah, I have Urshifu in the back for this. But that's probably the most annoying thing it could have been. If you have Gastrodon last, I'm in big trouble. Alright, Fluttermane goes down. That's great. Thank you for giving me that. And I don't get the Will-O-Wisp off. I guess I could have, what, Shadow Ball instead? Are you gonna Trick Room? Yeah. Alright. Uh, I have to try my best to get out of that. My Rillaboom does have Protect. You won't be expecting that. But if you just bring in something that can Earth Power... Gastrodon. Gastrodon? So you're gonna protect Gastrodon and you're gonna Glacial Lance. So I need to protect Rillaboom, because the Grassy Glide is too obvious, and you can't Terra. So I'm gonna protect Rillaboom once. And just throw a Shadow Ball. Yeah, that was so obvious. I can Grassy Glide you next turn now. Awesome. And I think with Miracle Seed it might just be enough. And then you must be going after Rilla. Yeah, you're going after Rilla with Glacial Lance. That should... I mean, it won't bounce off Skeletors, but it's not going to do a lot. And Grass is still up to heal. Oh, that didn't do much at all. Nice! Well done, Skeletors. Can you show me half? <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs> okay, we can't really do damage to him either. That's what Urshifu is in, in the back. Grassy Glide. They're going to go for a double protect. And then I Shadow Ball their Cali. They didn't go for a double protect. They can't take a Grassy Glide. Gastrodon down. Perfect. Now there's basically no way for them to break through the rest of the game. Uh, does this Oko Rillaboom? Yeah, fine. Urshifu is in. And Skeledurge is doing great. Uh, I guess they have a plus one attack they can throw at Urshifu, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. Plus, these Shadow Balls are really adding up. Maybe I should just Aqua Jet. What's the Trick Room situation like? I'm not sure it's gonna matter. Two whole turns? I could just Aqua Jet Shadow Ball here. If I Aqua Jet, and they KO Skeledurge, who cares? The only problem I could face is if they have a move like Close Combat and Crit my Urshifu, because plus one crit should do it. So I want to play in a way that makes me not lose to the crazy happenings. So I will Aqua Jet and keep spamming Shadow Ball. Yeah, that doesn't do enough. 
Ooh, and they go after Skeledurge. Okay, Skeledurge, you've done your job. And they should be in Aqua Jet range anyway, so we got this. Yeah, sh uh, sure, Surging Strikes is the better answer now, but it's not like they're gonna KO me, they have high horsepower. Yeah, and Aqua Jet's enough. Okay, good. Yeah, I figured I, I figured my uh, head counts were like, but that thing was taking damage really well. Good game, and a good game for Skeletor. Even though things didn't go perfectly for it, it still was pretty good. And you don't have a trainer card, so go get one. All right, we're back. I'm so glad we got to fight so many Cali Ices, and it went differently every time. Like, we never really burned one, but it still ended up working out because this team just has the right amount of pressure. Thank you so much, Chawarzard, for making this team. I actually had a blast with it. Uh, and I hope you guys like it too. Go ahead and try it. Uh, there's the rental code in the corner if you love Skeleturge. And tell me in the comments which starter you prefer uh, at, now that the game's been out for a while. But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.